Is business your tool to avoid feeling anxiety or any other emotion for that matter? Welcome to Moments of Daily Awareness, transformational insights to support you on your unique journey to create a loving relationship with yourself on the inside so you can easily create a life you truly love on the outside. My name's Claire Diamond and I am here to help you go on that wonderful, unique journey. So today, the question, is business your tool to avoid feeling anxiety? And the reason I'm talking about this is because this morning, as with many of the things I share, I've had a personal experience of of this, this sense of using business to not feel. So I got up this morning, did my usual, did a bit of exercise, got started with my day. And I, I just noticed this, this feeling in the pit of my stomach. And it, it didn't go away. Um, I, I kind of got on with things and then I've noticed it was there again. And, um, and I, I guess what I've done until the point at which I'm sitting down to make this video is I've just kept busy. And I'm really good at that. <laughs> I'm sure you can relate to that too, where you just find that time has just slipped away and, and you've managed to busy yourself through that um, set of tasks or whatever it is and not really stopped at all. And I just, just now I went up to the loo and came back down again. And I just could, I could feel that feeling in my stomach again. It's like a I don't know, I, I would call it an anxious feeling, just a, a kind of pit of the stomach strangeness. And yesterday I had a lovely session with a lovely lady called Beck, so I'll probably drop a link to her work in the comments because it, the session I had with her was very much about this somatic practice and I know very little about it. Please know I know nothing about this subject other than from my personal experience. She encouraged me to really sit with with a feeling that was there at the time when I was speaking to her. And um, I experienced some emotion. I experienced something shifting. I experienced, uh, you know, movement of that feeling in my body, it changing and that kind of thing. And it was quite um, interesting to see it playing out. And so today I thought, you know what, I'm just, that's what I'm going to do. So I came and sat in my office because I can shut the door and, you know, there's a little bit of peace and quiet in here. And I sat and I just brought my attention really gently to that feeling, to that feeling in the pit of my stomach. And I just sat with it. There wasn't anything to do. I didn't see it as problematic. I didn't think it was a problem. Um, I noticed I, I have a little subliminal playing. I noticed that playing and I, I muted it because I didn't want any sound. And I just sat with the feeling. And and as I sat with it, it, it did start to move. I always think that it, they're like energy, aren't they? They just sort of move about. And I, I felt it. I really felt it. And, and as I felt it, I kind of realised really from my body, I realized that the rest of this morning I had been literally chase, chasing it away by keeping busy, not feeling by keeping busy. And it felt very different to just allow it to be there. And that's what I did. I just allowed it to be there. And after I'd sat for a little while, there was just this feeling of, I guess, this feeling of peace. Now, <laughs> I don't want you to hear this is how to get peace because <laughs> if we're chasing that feeling of peace, we're invariably looking the wrong place for it because it's inside us. We don't need to go anywhere else looking for it. And, and that's not particularly helpful. But for me, there was a noticing suddenly that there was, um, that the feeling was less. And, and then... You know, sitting here making this video is something I've been putting off for ages. I've been thinking for ages. I really want to get cracking with the YouTube stuff and with more on Insight Timer and that kind of thing. And 
I haven't been doing it. I've been thinking I want to make more content and I haven't been doing it. And all of a sudden there was just this sense of something I wanted to share, sense of something I wanted to say to you. And that seemed to me to come from allowing myself to just be with the feeling, not fight it. I think what I see happening, and I think we've just been encouraged to be this way just because of how we view our emotions these days, is that we're spending so much time trying to avoid experiencing our emotions that we unconsciously were doing loads of different things to stop ourselves. And, and there can be all sorts of things. You know, busyness is just one thing. You know, they're scrolling on your phone. There's, you know, going for a walk even. There's meditating, there's eating, there's drinking, there's smoking, there's shopping. There's so many different ways that we can just use to avoid an emotion. And the irony of it is that actually when we do experience those emotions, realistically they've got such a short lifespan and because we're not expending all that energy trying to get rid of them what actually happens is that the energy is is there available to us it's available to us to to make some content it's available to us to um you know, do do the next thing in our life, in our business, in our work, whatever it is. It's available up to us from a place of presence because, you know, the, the mind's a very useful tool, but it's really only useful for practically doing things in the moment. So, you know, when I when I came up with the idea of doing this, I had to I wanted to come up with a title for it and um, you know, a sense of there might be a series of sessions like this. Um, and I did a little bit of thinking about that and, you know, so that I could start the session off with some kind of introduction. And, and there was there was creative process happening and I was using my mind for the practicalities of that rather than using my mind to try and find a way to avoid experiencing a feeling. Now, it's not just anxious feelings, if that's what we want to call them, although these days I try not too much to, to label the emotion. Just it's, There's an energy, a sense of some tension, some friction perhaps, some, some movement of something in the body that just feels a little bit out of kilter. But, but we, we're using things to avoid them. And busyness has been my tool for years. I, I think you can't burn out really if you're not using busyness to avoid feeling. You know, when I was in the run-up to burnout, it was very much out there. If I can just stop out there being a certain way, I can I can feel okay. And, and so there was this chasing of the emotional, a different emotional experience by trying to make the outside world fit how I wanted it to be. And that, that made me very busy in the outside world, but also very busy in my head with the plotting and scheming to how, how to do that. I often say it's like that game of whack-a-mole where I was hoping I could just manage to hold down all the different <laughs> heads and keep them all held down and, and not have any of them pop up. But of course, that isn't what happened. Life is happening. The heads are bobbing up. And I was just trying to, to keep them down and, um, you know, finding that to be extremely exhausting quite frankly so that's my little um bit of guidance for today that i hope you find helpful and and the reason why these are called moments of daily awareness is is that the idea is that this is this is you know this is your learning but what are you going to do with this now what, how are you going to explore this? How are you going to take this into your life? Because this this only works if you use it as an experiment, if you use it as a, as a tool to raise your own non-judgmental awareness of your experience. 
So thank you so much for listening. I'd be really grateful if you follow me and, and then you can find out more about what I've got to share. This has been Moments of Daily Awareness with Claire Downham. And these are the transformational insights to support you on your unique journey to create a loving relationship with yourself on the inside so you can easily create a life you truly love on the outside. Sending you so much love. Take care and I hope to see you again soon.